what is up YouTube? It is me, Zol, and we are back with another How To Sound Like tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Versace, 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 let's just go with Versace, a Versace type beat and how to mix your vocals like Versace. So yeah, before I show y'all a sneak peek of the song that I'm going to be walking you through today, I actually recently released my newest single, Races. I actually made this song in collaboration with my subscribers and they get a portion of the streaming revenue. If you want to watch, you know, how I did that, then click on this video right here. Yeah, the single is out on all streaming platforms. The link is down below. Go give it a listen. That would help out a lot. Thank you. All right, here is a sneak peek of my Versace type song. Alright, that is the Versace type song. I hope you like it. I really like how this turned out. Um, yeah, let's just talk about the guitars first. So if you're a subscriber of this channel, you might remember that in my how to make lo-fi with a guitar video, I had like this trash USB guitar cable that I was using. And yeah, it just made my guitar super fuzzy and it was a really bad cable, but I just got a new cable and I am loving how my guitar is sounding now. Alright, we are going to mute the drums. We're going to mute the bass, the chorus guitar, the verse guitar, and then the second chorus guitar. And we're just going to talk about this main guitar right now. Here are the vocals. I um, did the vocals in a separate project to keep the CPU light, so we're just going to delete the vocals. If you want to skip to the vocals, then click on this time right here. All right, now that we have all of those muted, let's go to this main guitar. So if you notice the starting guitar, um, one's kind of in your right ear and then one's kind of in your left ear. And that is a big Versace type, you know, guitar trick that he likes to do. Um, sometimes he opens up with the, you know, right guitar and then he brings in both of the guitars at the same time. Sometimes he alternates. So in this song, I actually started with the left and then both of them come in and then in the chorus both of them are together left and right so i am just going to grab this right guitar i'm going to turn off the left i'm going to move the right guitar in the middle i'm going to show y'all how i mixed this guitar yeah i'm going to delete all of these audio effects now let's give a listen to the guitar without any audio effects So the first thing is, it's not loud enough. So we're gonna throw in this glue compressor, which isn't really taking down any of the volume, but it's boosting it up by 10 dBs, which is huge. All right, and then next up is Sketch Cassette, which they actually had a new update. So now that there is Sketch Cassette 2. Um, Sketch Cassette, I know you recently sponsored Ramzoid. If you wanna hit your boy up, I am always available. Yeah, I've been using Sketch Cassette on my guitars a lot recently, and yeah, let me just show you what my guitar sounds like with Sketch Cassette on now. Oh yeah, it just gives you that instant indie guitar vibe, um, and there's a bunch of different, you know, presets and all that, so definitely check out Sketch Cassette. So, the Sketch Cassette, I'm <laughs> I'm saying that a lot, the Sketch Cassette is mostly adding, you know, a chorus, a flanger, it's giving it that wavy feel. I wanted it to make, I wanted to make it a little bit more wavy, so I threw in another chorus, just Ableton's built-in chorus. 
And then next up is Reverb with Valhalla. As you can see, only 38% um, wet. So it's not, you know, taking out the power of the guitar, but it's definitely adding some space. And then I'm taking out some of these lows, which there's not really much lows, but I'm boosting the highs, which is essential. All right, so now let's just keep doing Command Z. There we go. So now we have one on the right, one on the left. And when you do this technique, be sure to record two different takes. You don't want to have, um, you know, the same take, one on the right, one on the left. All right, and then next up is my bass. You can barely hear it, so let's turn on this glue compressor. And then uh, sausage fattener, which is really good for basses. There we go. People are gonna tell you that, you know, you can't throw a chorus on your bass. You can't do this, do that. But I like chorus on my bass, so I'm throwing chorus on my bass. And then next up, sketch cassette. Give it a little bit of distortion, and then we're gonna take off those highs. So now the bass is only taking up the lows, which is what we, which is what we want. Um, and then we're gonna throw on this main guitar. All right, and then um, for the choruses, I'm also throwing in a guitar in the middle. So this main guitar, there's one on the left, one on the right. The bass is in the middle, but I wanted a guitar to also be in the middle because I just wanted to fill up that space. So I threw in this guitar right here. It's just playing the chords of this main guitar. But as you can see, the highs are, you know, pretty high. So now we mix that with this guitar, and now we're gonna have a guitar on the left, a guitar on the right, and then a guitar in the middle. Throw on the bass. So far the beat has some pretty good Versace guitar vibes, but it's lacking that grunge, you know, that some of his songs have. So in the verse, I switched it up. So as you go over here, I did the same technique that I did with the main guitar where this track is 50 to the left, this track is 50 to the right. But if we go over here, as you can see in the EQ, I took off the highs because I wanted this guitar to have, you know, a little bit more power and not that bright. And I just think that's a great verse guitar. Um, but I thought that it could have a little bit more spice, so I threw in this guitar right here that occasionally comes in because I didn't want to overtake this guitar, so. Oh yeah, that's great. Come on. All right, guitars down. Let's move on to our drums. So let's minimize all of these guitars. There we go. The first sound that we are gonna get is my Zoll Angry Kick. And a lot of these drums are from my Zoll Volume 1 Drum Kit, which is available on my store right now. I'm having a contest with this kit. The deadline is December 31st. So the winners uh, get prizes. Just check out this video right here and you can see how to join, where to get the pack, and what kind of sounds the pack has. It has 84 sounds in it, so it's a big one. Just link in description. That was a really good plug. Good job, Zol. All right, so first sound that we get is this Zol Angry Kick. And as you can see, I didn't have to throw in any audio effects because like I said, these sounds are just tailored to my taste, so yeah. All right, next up we get my Zoll bump snare, which all I had to do with this was throw in a parallel aggressor to add a little bit more crunch to it. And then I just EQ'd it to boost up those mids. Mm -hmm. 
before I made this song, I listened to a lot of uh, Versace songs just to get, you know, his taste and his style. And I don't know, guys. I think he has the Zol Drum Kit Volume 1 because a lot of his songs have this kind of snare. And then they also have some snares that are also in the pack. So I don't know. I don't know. All right, next up is we got my Annoying Tap. And this is just a slight perk. Versace is a super talented producer, so he likes to have really cool perks here and there. And yeah, just before the second snare. And then next up we got this crash just to set the tone. And then we got my wavy open hat. It just pairs super well with my bump snare. Oh yeah. And then I threw in a drum rack. If you are a subscriber of this channel, you know that I don't really use a lot of drum racks for my hi-hats, but in this song, I wanted to play in the hi-hats and have two different hi-hats. So we have my air hat and my chill hat. Also from the Zol Drum Kit Volume 1. And as you can see, they're just kind of alternating. And then to support that, we have this shaker. And then we have this riser that I made. There we go. Super simple drums for the chorus. And then as you can tell, I switched it up in the verse, so we get the crash. And then we're gonna throw in my woe kick. We also throw in a clap because I didn't want to have a snare in the chorus, snare in the verse. I wanted to have snare in the chorus, clap in the verse. And then we just throw in my chill hat. There we go. And then we just got the same drums that are in the chorus. All right, next up is the vocals. So like I said before, whenever I do my vocals, I do them in a separate track. Um, I bounce the beat, so here's the beat. I bounce the beat so it's just one track, doesn't have any audio effects on it. This is gonna really help out your CPU. So definitely do this if you are recording vocals. Um, yeah, the vocals aren't gonna take long to explain because basically all I'm doing is using the same template that I talk about in my how to mix your vocals video. I have two of them, definitely go check out the updated one. Um, all of the audio effects are Ableton stock audio effects. So if you have Ableton, you can make this exact template. All right, so here's the template. Again, not gonna really talk about it um, too much, but let me just play you uh, what the vocals sound like without the template. My head is my house and I'm trying to find the door to get out. Okay, so first of all, we need auto-tune because I'm not that great of a singer. Second of all, we need this template. So here's the template. Yeah. My head is my house and I'm trying to find the door to get out on it. So yeah, you can learn how to make this exact template in my How to Mix Your Vocals video. Um, let me show you the techniques that I used around the template. So my head is my... Those are the main vocals, and then we get to the background vocals, which is the same template, but I also throw on some reverb, some extra reverb, another de -esser, and then this EQ is going to take out this midsection right here and then boost the highs. And then we're just going to do a pretty heavy high pass filter, take out a lot of those lows. And let's turn on the background vocals, let's solo them. Just let time pass. We let time pass. 
All right, and then we get into this distorted vocals thing. Um, yeah, Versace likes to have distorted vocals. He does it a lot better than me, but let me just show you what I did. So we have the main template. Let's solo this distorted vocal. I need to leave my pillow, but I like the dark. I'm a black widow. So that's the template, just the regular template. And then I throw on this chain. So it's going to have two chains. The first chain is the dry chain and the dry chain. So let's just turn off the second chain. Um, the dry chain is basically throwing on a pedal and then a chorus on top of my template. So let's turn off the chorus. I need to leave my pillow, but I like the... You can barely hear that distortion. And then we're going to throw on this I chorus need to leave my pillow, just to make it a little bit wavier. Dark, I'm a black whip. And then this second chain right here is where you get most of the um, distortion. So the second chain by itself sounds like this. And I'm just having it focused on the highs. And then if you mix it with the dry chain. I need to leave my pillow, but I like the dark. I'm a black widow. You can find me here. All right, and then next up we got this flanger and then this EQ8 to take off more of these lows. I need to leave my pillow, but I like the dark, I'm a black widow. So there's that. And then I added more background vocals to that distorted vocal. Um, and I do the same technique that I did with my background vocals. So one is 50 to the right, right here. One is 50 to the left. And the reason I didn't throw it on this group right here is because I didn't want it to have that much reverb. I just wanted it to take up a spot in your right ear and a spot in your left ear. So let's just solo what I'm adding. I need to leave my pillow, but I like the dark, I'm a black widow. So I'm throwing on this chorus, make it a little wavy, and then as you can see, I'm taking off some of these highs. And the reason is, is because this distorted vocal um, the distortion is taking up those highs. So I want the distortion in the highs and then in the mids is more of the regular vocals. I need to leave my pillow, but I like the dark on my black widow. You can find me here. I'll be waiting patiently. Hope it won't waste my dreams. My Alright guys, I really hope this video helped you out. First of all, thank you so much for watching to this point. Um, it really helps out the channel when you watch the whole video, and I've been recording for a while, so this video is going to be long. So if you've stuck through it to this point, thank you so much. Be sure to go stream races again. This is my favorite piece of music that I've ever made and it's in collaboration with my subscribers. They made some insane samples, so be sure to go check out that video where I walk through the single. Um, go add it to your playlists. If you shout it out on Instagram, be sure to tag me at ParlBizol. Yeah, that's about it. Peace. I need to leave my pillow, but I like the dark on my Mom